guys, it's Nikki and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching today's Walt Disney World trip haul. I know you guys are just like me and you love a good merch haul and we are here for it. So we did go to Disney World from a Thursday night, but we got in at 2 a.m. So technically just Friday through Sunday and I have a lot of fun goodies that I'm going to share with you that I picked up at the parks. One thing that I did want to mention, so every time we go to Walt Disney World, we get one of these gorgeous blown glass ornaments. We could not find them anywhere this trip. And let me preface, I have bought all of these ornaments not during Christmas time. I'm not sure if they're just like not gonna have them anymore because I haven't been really seeing any new styles in the past couple of years or if they're just like sold out. But I was not able to find any of these ornaments during our trip. I did purchase two ornaments that I'm gonna show you first, but it was just very strange. They weren't at the Christmas shop in Disney Springs and they weren't at the Christmas shop in Magic Kingdom. So I'm not sure if they're gonna ever bring these back or what the deal is. So yeah, our ornaments first. So like I mentioned, we weren't able to find any of the Mickey shaped ornaments, but I did find two very, very cute ornaments that I am happy with. So the first one that I purchased was from the Riviera. And if you guys don't know, we are DVC members and the Riviera is our home resort. And so I always love checking out their new merch. I'm biased, but I would say that they have the best merch out of all of the resorts. Um, this is the ornament that we purchased. It has the R&R logo. It says Disney's Riviera Resort. And then on this side, it has Mickey and Minnie in their little outfits. And just the ornament in general is gorgeous. Next ornament that we got is more of like a sentimental, this is how I can remember the trip ornament. So I saw this ornament at Pop Century. Um, when you stay at resorts that are connected to the Skyliner, they have Skyliner merchandise. So. I went ahead and purchased a Skyliner ornament. It does say Disney Skyliner, the most magical flight on earth. The ornament, it has the characters from the movie Ratatouille. And during this trip, please ignore my nails. Um, this was the first time we rode this ride. I really enjoyed riding the new um, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure ride. And so I thought that would be a fun way to commemorate our Disney holiday vacation with this little ornament. I know you think that you would get a holiday ornament for holiday vacation, but literally couldn't find any. Next up, let's talk pins. So I did purchase a good amount of pins this trip, and I actually purchased most of them like right away at the pin store in Disney Springs. I love going to that store, and if I have an eye on a pin that I want for that season or for the trip that we're on, that's the place that I'm going to look and probably going to purchase. Um, you just never know what you're going to be able to see in the parks when it comes to pins. So I highly recommend going to that Disney Springs spring store if you are looking for a certain pen. I did purchase two of the Christmas Cuties uh, mystery pin boxes. So these are $18. I did get my discount, but I only got two. You get two pins in each one. I'll be opening these in a separate video, but I thought they were cute. And if I don't get the ones that I want, I can always trade for the ones I want. I'm not going to say the ones I want because I don't want to jinx myself. <laughs> pin that I got so from July when we visited um till now they have a lot of cute DVC merch now I feel like it's a hit and miss sometimes they release really good Disney Vacation Club member um, merchandise and then other times they don't I did find this new pin and I really really like it and I can't wait to add it to my pin board so this is what my Disney Vacation Club member pin looks like it just says Disney Vacation Club member 
Um, the lighting isn't great, so it's kind of dark, but it is a like a dark blue with some grays and yellow. That is like the color scheme of the merchandise that they're using right now. The next pins that I got are all holiday focused. So this is just a Mickey Mouse wreath. And then the other holiday pin that I got was just this Mickey and Minnie on the ski lift. They actually have a lounge fly backpack that has this design on it. I didn't get the backpack, so I opted for the pin because I really like them um, in their little ski lift. It's super cute. The other pin that I got was a Riviera um, holiday pin. So it has the cute Christmas tree and then it actually is a hinge pin. And so it opens and it shows Mickey and Minnie and Mickey is dressed up as Santa with the Riviera in the background. I absolutely love this pin. This is probably my number one pin right now. It is so fun. <laughs> the final two pins that I purchased were actually from Epcot. So this is the 2021 Festival of the Holidays pin. It says Feels Like Home with Olaf. Down in this corner it says Festival of the Holidays. You can barely even see it on the pin itself. This is a limited release so once they're gone, they're gone. I don't love this year's Festival of the Holidays merchandise. It is Olaf themed, um, not Chip and Dale, and it just, there wasn't one item that I was absolutely loving, so I just went ahead and got the pin. We did go to the Candlelight Processional, and so I purchased the 2021 Candlelight Processional pin for this year. I love how it has the big Christmas tree and then the different candles and Mickey right in center. I absolutely adored the Candlelight Processional, so it was nice to have this pin to remember that by. I almost forgot that I purchased the four pin collection for the 50th anniversary set. I loved how each park had the main icon, but then they had another little item with um, that icon, so it has Tink in the castle. BB-8 in Tower of Terror, the ball and figment, and then Simba and the tree. Next, let's chat about Epcot. So, um, Festival of the Holidays was going on when we were visiting, and I, as you'll learn in the Epcot vlog, I was not able to complete the cookie stroll. However, and actually, side note, um, I watched the Diz on YouTube. If you don't know, I'll leave them linked down below um, in the description. But Denny, she did, I'm pretty sure that's her name, she did the cookie stroll. You can bring and put the cookies in. It's literally physically impossible for you to eat all the cookies by yourself. If you go with somebody that's gonna help you eat the cookie, then okay, cool. Jackson wasn't gonna help me eat the cookies. I was not able to complete it. Um, I am sad because when you've completed it, you get a completer cookie and plus they gave you an extra cute little cup and I was very sad to learn that I did not get that. But anyways, um, with the cookie shell, you can buy a cookie jar. So yes, of course, I had to buy this year's um, Festival of the Holidays Cookie Stroll Cookie Jar. So it says Holiday Cookie Stroll. It has a little peppermint and bow. And then on the other side, it says Epcot International Festival of the Holidays 2021. And then what I really like, it has all of the cookies around the cookie jar. Um, they normally have this peppermint cookie and they didn't have that this year. They have the crinkle cookie. Um, the gingerbread cookie, the black and white cookie, the linter cookie, but they also had a Snickers doodle. It was like a Snickers, but a Snicker doodle, but made with Snickers um, cookie. And then what was the other one that's missing on here? So the only new one for this year was the Snickers Snickers doodle cookie that replaced the peppermint pinwheel cookie that not a lot of people liked. I checked my book. Besides the cookie stroll, there are a lot of other fun things that you can do at Festival of the Holidays. 
One of them is Olaf's Holiday Tradition Expedition. So this was kind of like Remy's that we did for Food and Wine Festival. They have Olaf and one of these items um, on a sled hidden throughout the countries. And so we went through each country and found Olaf. It's actually really fun and it gets you around like the World Showcase pretty quickly. It does cost, so it was $10.99, um, but you do get to use your AP or your DVC discount. This is what was strange about this year so normally they have like a gift that you will get like a prize um i do recommend getting the prize before you start and you can 100 percent do that um it's not like they're not going to not give you the prize if you don't complete it so i always opt to get the prize um before we start and the cast member grabs like five random things in this bucket that she had and normally it is Casey stop Casey quit it butter hey baby baby girl quit it so normally it's like an item that's related to Olaf or that is related to Remy if it's that whatever it is so my prize I picked a patch so I just got the rainbow Mickey patch I know it is so random I am still like kind of shocked that this is what they were giving out there was like a pin a lanyard um, it was all like very random things that they probably are wanting to try and get rid of and so that's what they're using for the prices this year another item that I got at Epcot um, at the donut box they have a gingerbread milkshake and it can come in an annual pass holder cup so girls plastic um however it is really cute i'm just gonna keep it um on my desk maybe like throw some pens in it but it just says walt disney world annual pass holder i'm not even sure if it's gonna focus there we go so it has mickey and then minnie it's really cute and when I purchased this I just asked for the cup separately I didn't want to put the milkshake in here so it's not sticky or anything they will totally do that for you so I always recommend um, when you're getting like a sipper or a cup ask for your drink on the side and then the sipper separate so then you don't have to like worry about cleaning out the sipper or if it gets gross during this trip we did go to the very merriest after hours event at magic kingdom um it was a great time we had so much fun they didn't have um select and select merchandise for this year's festival in the past they've had merchandise for the festival it says in the map that they're gonna have it but I asked a cast member and she said they did not however um, I did buy this year's holiday shirt so it just says the holidays are happier together and then it has everybody on the tree I think it's really cute. I was looking forward to getting a very merriest um, happy hours t-shirt, but that green one, um, it's it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. I guess I'll just have to go back to the party next year. Yeah, let's do that. At the end of the party, they're handing out um, little extra treats. So they're handing out um, Mickey shaped marshmallows, like dipped in ch chocolate and peppermint they're actually very good and then we got these little like a free form uh what are they called um ornaments yeah i guess they're just ornaments i thought they were air fresheners but they were just um free form ornaments 25 days of christmas little like marketing thing it shows you all of the movies are gonna start on free forum and then where you can go to like find the schedule jumping back over to the festival of the holidays um i did grab an extra passport i love having these just for like little mementos they're free and they are fun to be able to like go look back on this is where you would get your cookies stamped for the cookie stroll so that's just on that last page there i can't find mine that has my three stamps 
but um, always make sure to pick up one of these passports. During COVID, they didn't print the passports, but now they have them back. This trip was holiday focused. I wasn't too worried about getting items that I want to get for the 50th. We did get, they're downstairs in the dishwasher, if I can't show you, um, but we got the reusable mugs that are styled for the 50th. And then I did pick up two of the maps. They're just a little bit more like iridescent and shiny. Honestly, next time we go, I'll definitely need to get another Magic Kingdom one because this one got bent. Um, these are just fun to have and they're free. So you literally can take as many as you want and they also have them in different languages too. These um, were the maps for the very merriest Christmas party. These are just like fun little mementos that I enjoy keeping and putting in my little Disney box that I have for us. So always remember that when you go to Disney, um, there's little free items that you can take and just to help you remember your vacation. Now we're just gonna talk about some random stuff that I got. Um, I did pick up this really cute castle sticker. So I've been into putting stickers on my laptop and I'm definitely, uh, I, I should say, I planned on putting this on my laptop, but it's too big. I don't have enough like space. Hopefully I'm getting a new laptop. If you follow me over on Instagram, you know my battle with my laptop currently. It's a struggle. Um, so hopefully within the next year or so, I'll be getting a new one and then I can add this little cutie to that. thing is, with my rainbow patch that I purchased, I also purchased this cute little um, balloon patch. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with this. I'll probably put it on one of my stony clover bags, but I really like the pastel colors and I love a Mickey balloon. This next item is pretty funny. Um, they had, for the 50th, they had different collections that were launched, if you didn't know. And one of the collections was a vault collection. So they brought back old designs from years ago. And I remember my parents having um, salt and pepper shakers similar to these. I'm pretty sure my parents' salt and pepper shakers had Mickey and Minnie on them. And these ones just say Walt Disney World with the castle but I just thought they were really cute. I love getting fun salt and pepper shakers when we go places. These ones are very like neutral too. I have a ton that are like seasonal focused. So like Christmas ones, Halloween, Thanksgiving. Um, and so these ones will be fun to like use in the summer or the spring when it's not like a fun holiday where I can use my fun holiday salt and pepper shakers. Let's move on to cups. So y'all know I love a good mug. And for the 50th, the Starbucks mugs got a revamp and they are designed for the 50th now. I did a very good job and only purchased one. We will be back and I saw like like tons of them so I'm pretty confident that they are here to stay through the whole entire 50th celebration but I did go ahead and purchase the Magic Kingdom 50th inspired Starbucks mug it is so cute it has the monorail it has the Rapunzel's castle um, a Dole Whip a trash can Tiki Bird um, the castle small world just so many fun different items that you can find throughout the park. Here is what it looks like. So it has like a really pretty light pink inside. It says Magic Kingdom and then the 50. And then all of the fun little items. Y'all know I love a good mug, a good Starbucks mug, so I'm very much looking forward to getting the rest of these um, from the other parts. Another mug that I purchased so I work from home, so I don't really need a travel mug, but this one was really cute. So it says, so it says welcome home for the holidays, Disney Vacation Club member, and it is a very pretty red. When I saw it, I knew it needed to come home with me. If you guys are on Instagram, then you have seen this cup before. I tried not to buy it. I tried really, really hard to stay away from purchasing this tumbler, but... I saw it in person and I just couldn't resist any longer. So I did go ahead and purchase the 50th anniversary Walt Disney World tumbler for Starbucks. So it has the mermaid on the front and then on the back it says Walt Disney World 50, the most magic the world's most magical celebration. It has that mermaid and then it has the 50th logo on the other side. 
she is just gorgeous the thing is jackson actually purchased a very like the exact same sweatshirt as mine that i'm wearing today except it does say walt disney world across that um besides that i didn't go crazy on merch i was very proud of myself so i got that christmas shirt and then i did purchase one 50th anniversary item i knew i wanted this and the merchandise like clothing merchandise for 50th is so hit and miss that i didn't want to miss out and i saw a couple people wearing this i'm like yeah that's cute i need to buy it so this is just so a it's... cropped sweatshirt it has the 50th logo right there and then it just says walt disney world the world's most magical celebration in that rose gold iridescent again it is a cropped but i always size up when it's a crop so i got a what did i get i got an extra large because i don't want it to be cropped nobody wants that and so it will be um more baggier fitting and it's not going to be like a crop top because why can't we just make regular size clothes i don't know i found at pop century and i have not seen this shirt yet um i watched a, one of tim tracker's videos um recently and he actually pointed this out i purchased the shirt before it was in his video and i only saw it at pop century i did not see it anywhere else I almost wasn't going to purchase this, but then I was like, mm, I kind of want it. So it is a 2022 shirt and it says Happy New Year Walt Disney World. I wasn't sure if I would be able to find this shirt again and I loved the fun colors and just the whole gang. It was adorable. And again, I didn't know if I would be able to see this again or if this was going to come online. So. This was definitely like a, if you see it, you need to grab it type of shirt. Cause I wasn't sure if I would see it again or have it be online. So I was, I was happy with that purchase. I did only purchase one spare jersey during our trip, which I was very proud of myself about. Um, I did want to get the Christmas one. I could not find my size. We literally checked in every single store possible. Um, my only opportunity now is my bibbity box for December. It was on their wish list, and so crossing my fingers that I get it from them. But I did purchase this spirit jersey from the France Pavilion. It says Ooh La La Epcot World Showcase on the back in a nice, like, rose gold. It's very sparkly. And then on the front, it says Mademoiselle Mini. And it has a picture of Minnie looking just so fabulous. And then the print is really pretty. So it has the Eiffel Towers and the different flowers. I love this spirit jersey and I've actually been wanting it for quite some time now. Every time we have gone um, this entire year, so in April and in July, they have been sold out. So I was very excited to learn we're very excited to see um, that they had it in stock this time. The last item that I purchased was very popular. I received so many messages on Instagram. Um, I did not see it anywhere else besides the Disney Style Store in Disney Springs. And I like looked for it because a couple of my friends over on Instagram, they wanted one and I was going to get that for them. But I wasn't able to find it. Um, however, it was very popular and it is insanely cute. So it says Walt Disney World magical since 1971 and it has a Mickey in the castle. It is so stinking cute. So with clothes, let's talk sizes. I like my clothes like bigger and baggier um, when it comes like sweatshirts and long sleeve shirts. I have very long arms, so I always normally have to get a large. However, with Disney items, they sometimes shrink and that just like makes me so sad when a shirt that I love shrinks and then I have to like always wear my sleeves up because they're like living right here in the middle of my arm. Um, I went ahead and got an extra large. <laughs> it's very big. Um, however, I do think it's going to shrink a little bit, but it is going to look so cute, like oversized with some biker shorts. So I'm happy with the size that I went with but it is adorable i probably could have got a large i did hold the large and the extra large up together and it wasn't like a great significant so i'm like i'd rather be safe than sorry all right you guys <laughs> that's gonna be it for today's haul from our latest 
Walt Disney World vacation during the holidays. Let me know in the comments down below which item you like best. I really can't decide. I really like all of the like clothing items that I purchased. And then that Starbucks mug is just so, so cute. And the tumbler and my cookie stroll and all my pins. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are gonna go to Walt Disney World this holiday season. Um, if you are, I highly recommend the Candle Processional. Loved it, loved it at Epcot. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. Um, make sure you catch up on all the videos if you haven't yet. So much more fun videos are coming. I'm actually very proud of myself that I have made it um, 10 days and I haven't missed a day. So proud of myself on the back. Hopefully that will continue, who knows. But I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you real soon. Bye.